Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Temper Motors in Groveland, Florida, and they're a Hustler dealer. Now recently, I ran across a commercial landscaper that had a residential uh, Hustler mower on it. I took a look at it. I was really impressed with it. I've had a lot of you guys in the comments asking what I think about it. And so I took that opportunity to talk to that commercial landscaper and he really liked the Hustler mower, even though it was a residential model, and I was pretty impressed with it, and I think you're gonna like it as well. So let's get started. We're gonna take a look at a few models here. Uh, I think you're really gonna like these mowers, guys. All right, guys, first, before I get into the Raptor X and the Raptor uh, XD, um, I think it'd be good to cover the lower end models um, since my price ranges on these videos or around three thousand uh, five thousand five hundred dollars uh, in that category so um, Hustler does have a what they call a dash starts the retail price is three thousand ninety nine dollars and they also have a dash XD which is thirty six forty nine so just real quick I want to cover those um, they weren't at that dealer that I'm about to show you but these are um, pretty easily uh, beat by previous models that we've shared. I got all my notes right here. So let's go over those right now So I got all this information off of the website So you have the hustler dash and like I said, it starts out at three thousand ninety nine dollars You can get a 34 inch or a 42 inch deck um, 11 gauge It's got the uh, ZT 1800 goes up to five miles per hour Briggs and Stratton engine, 10.5 horsepower, 2.8 quarts, not gallons, uh, warranty, two year, 200 hour, um, rated up to one acre. Um, it's a one inch by two inch steel frame. They, What I do like about Hustler's uh, website, and we'll get into that later, they're offering a military discount. Now covering the um, Dash XD, Starting out at $36.49, you can get a 34-inch, 42-inch, or a 48-inch deck. It's also a welded deck. 11-gauge, also with the 1800, up to 6 miles per hour. And on this model, you can get the Kawasaki, 15 horsepower. Comes with the 34 or 42-inch deck. 18 horsepower Kawasaki FR600 comes with the 48-inch deck. Uh, it's two gallon tank, two year, 200 hour warranty, three years on the engine, rated up to one acre, one by two inch deck, and uh, this model you get the 18 inch big bite rear tires. All right, so real quick, I wanna compare that to some previous models that we've looked at already on this channel. First, let's compare it to the Husqvarna Z242F Special Edition or just the regular, um, you can get for a little bit more money, you can get a 10 gauge fabricated deck, same as what they call a welded deck. You're getting a Kawasaki engine, 18 horsepower Kawasaki versus a 10.5 horsepower Briggs. Fuel tank, you're getting a 3.5 gallon fuel tank versus a 10.8 quarts. Uh, like I said, it is you know a couple $200 more, I get that but you're also getting a three-year warranty uh, with a, it's, it's limited, I, you know. That's one thing, I, we're gonna discuss that later on in this video, what I don't like about Husqvarna uh, with their limited warranty, okay? But so far it's a three-year. Now let's compare the Dash XD to the Husqvarna two, um, Z254F, versus the Husk, uh, Hustler Dash XD. Same amount of money, basically. Uh, this one, you're getting a 54 inch deck, 10 gauge fabricated versus an 11 gauge welded. Same thing, welded fabricated, pretty much means the same thing. And this one, I know, I wanna say it comes with the, I'm not sure, I don't know why I don't have it written down here, what transmission it is. But already, we're already beating it, even if they do have equal transmissions 
uh, you're getting a 24 horsepower Kawasaki bigger gas gas tank, two gallon versus 3.5 gallon, and a bigger uh, warranty. Next up, let's go ahead and compare that Hustler Dash XD to the Cub Cadet ZT142. We're coming at $200 less um, on the on the, with the Cub Cadet, but we're getting much more for our money. We're getting a now, yeah, you're getting a stamped deck on this one. It's 11 gauge stamped versus a welded welded 11 gauge. But Cub Cadet's offering a limited lifetime warranty on that deck. You're getting a better transmission, seven miles per hour uh, travel speed. You're getting a 22 horsepower Kohler. I know you fanboys like you love your Kawasaki's. They have their issues too. So does Kohler. So does Briggs. They all have their issues. But Kohler and Kawasaki are the two that I would, um, you know, prefer. Kohler 22 horsepower. I'm going to take a Kohler 22 horsepower over any Kawasaki 18 horsepower any day of the week. Um, larger fuel tank, three-year unlimited hours warranty with the Cub Cadet. Two by two inch frame, and you have uh, dual LED headlights uh, for that price. So, pretty much, we're gonna just go ahead. That's just I just wanted to cover the Hustler Dash and Dash XD. I didn't get to see them in person, but I just wanted to go ahead and go over those stats before we go on with the um, looking at the Raptor X, uh, Raptor X, and the Raptor XDs. All right, next up, we're gonna take a look at this Raptor X. It starts at $4,149. These come with a welded 11 gauge deck. This is the 42 inch deck right here that we're taking a look at. Now, one thing that I noticed right away um, is that um, nice guard welded around the, the deck there. Nice frame here, it's a... Um, inch and a half by three inch deck I'm sorry frame very very nicely made frame casters front casters coming in at four inches wide very beefy frame I like this powder coated plate on the front there Foot actuated deck lift and this um, pin slot deck height adjuster is very nice, very durable. It's going to last a lifetime. Now, it's got these chutes that are kind of like a rubbery composite. Those always feel better in my opinion. Let's take a look at the deck. Now, this is an 11 gauge welded deck. And on those spindles, they have a 7 gauge spindle reinforcement. In those decks and these spindles are have sealed bearings with aluminum housings this foot plate can be removed you remove that bolt right there and gives you easy access to the top of the deck lift that up it's got a rubber mat there built into that foot plate it's very nice very durable and gives you easy access to the top of that deck for maintenance and cleaning There's the uh, deck belt tensioner. Right there, very nice. And again, let me point out the reinforcement on the edge of this deck, that's really important. Right here, we got this quarter inch flat bar bent around the edge of that deck that's going to be taking the beating. This is what I don't like. These little uh, bars right there, I wasn't impressed with. Seat, standard factory issue, but these do have armrest. I do like the way these uh, control arms, the tracking arms, are built out of this nice aluminum uh, square there. You can adjust it easily. Cup holder, storage compartment there, nice beefy tires on the rear. 
nice framework, body work that comes up to protect that carburetor right there. And we're looking at the Kawasaki FR600V engine with a 42 inch deck, you get 18 horsepower. Translucent tank, everything's laid out really well, really nice. Um, I'm not sure what I like about that battery, very small battery. The jury's still out on that. As we go along here, I mean, just overall, as I'm looking at it as a mechanic and welder fabricator, I like the way it looks. And it came across as a very easy machine to work on. As we take a look here, we got the ZT2200 transmissions. And these had the, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Agura GT1.5 clutches. Here's your hydro releases. Now that clutch, as I'm looking at this frame, that clutch I found aftermarket clutches or replacement clutches for $150. Um, it's got the, that little uh, drain valve there. I don't really like those. I'll have another video on those. I'm gonna post shortly. Uh, basically, right here is the Raptor X. This is the 54-inch model. Pretty much the same, except that front caster is much wider than the 52-inch deck model. That's one of the differences between these. And now, this deck does have plenty of reinforcement welding in. All those vertical beams are there welded in on the top of that deck, reinforcing it, giving it some um, added strength as opposed you don't see nearly as much on that 42 inch deck and this reinforcement goes a little bit longer on this deck and again we have that seven gauge spindle reinforcement with aluminum spindles have sealed bearings with an aluminum housing but overall, these are pretty much the same, same tracking arms, uh, the same way the deck lift works. Fuel tank is three gallons. And these, both of these machines have um, the armrest, the seats are the same. And the way that seat folds up and just stops, there's no cord or anything, is really nice. This one has the FR651V Kawasaki. And these have larger, wider tires on the rear. We also still have the Z2200 hydro gear transmissions. Seven miles per hour is what they're rated at. Same clutch, the or, uh, o Ogura, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, clutches, but you can see the width difference of these rear tires. I'm gonna take a measurement here. We got about seven and a half on that 42 inch model. And then over here, we got about nine inches almost. Big difference on that rear tire. Now let's take a look at the Raptor XD. We're gonna be taking a look at a Raptor XD with a 54 inch deck. Big changes here. First off, we got a price tag of $5,149. Still got those wide front casters, very similar to the other ones. Uh, on this one, we got a still have the that three inch by inch and a half frame. These front casters are about six inches, a little bit wider than that Raptor X model. Built pretty much the same. We got that deck reinforcement on the top, same foot plate. But here's one other thing that you're going to notice. It's a thicker reinforcement that goes all the way around, all the way to the front of that rear tire, wraps all the way around. A lot of reinforcement on this deck. This is like commercial grade reinforcement. This, this reinforcement looks very much like the John Deere commercial mowers that I'm used to working on. Very well built for a, for a residential mower. This is outstanding. 
I love that foot plate, that thick rubber on there. We got the reinforcement, those aluminum sealed bearings, uh, spindles. Just a, a, a really good unit that comes with a three year, 300 hour warranty. I'm gonna remove this plate so we can take a look at this deck. I love having easy access to the top of these decks. That way you can use an air compressor or leaf blower, remove all that dirt and debris and grass, clean it. Now, look at take a look at this um, deck belt tensioner. It slides on a plastic, some plastic guides there. It's very simple, but that's gonna work. No bearings to wear out. It's simple, but it works. A little bit upgraded seat there with the armrest, as opposed to, you know, it's bigger than that, that one that I just showed on the Raptor X. We still have a three gallon tank, small battery. This one comes with the FR691 Kawasaki engine. I wish these guards were just a little bit higher. I just, I wish it was about an inch or two higher to protect that carburetor a little bit more. These tires are even wider. Let's take the measurement out here. So we went from, now we went from eight and a half to nine inches. Now we're up to about 10 inches or 10 and a half big bite tires. And this model has the ZT2800 hydro gear transmissions. I like the way this thing is built. Very nice, looks like it's very easy to work on. I love the, the layout of the controls here, very simple. So pretty much we got the same thing over here on this 60 inch deck. The only difference is this deck is 60 inches. And again, we have that nice reinforcement all the way from the front of that rear tire, all the way wrapped around casters are the same everything's pretty much the same except this one has the 60 inch deck uh, one other difference is this will have the FR 760 24 horsepower Kawasaki engine price on this unit is $5,149 Similar seat to the previous one right there. I just showed you with the 54 inch deck. And here is that FR 760 24 horsepower engine. I'm sorry, this is the FR 730. Tires look are the same transmissions ZT 2800s nicely built unit especially for the price and, and for a residential unit now this wouldn't be a proper mechanical mind review or comparison if I didn't tell you what I don't like about these all of these mowers have this little flimsy bolt here on all on all four corners all four sides on all the mowers I just showed you they look rinky dink Mickey Mouse uh, for that way to deck it looks small but other than that I really like these mowers I want to thank Temper Motors in Groveland, Florida for letting me do this video and take a look at their inventory. I'll put a link down in the description with their information. All right, guys, so let's compare this to the current top place contender 
which um, is the Cup Cadet ZT-1 42-inch deck. Um, let's compare that H Hustler Raptor. All right, so we have the Raptor X coming in at $4,149 versus the Cub Cadet coming at it only $3,500 basically. All right, so we're gonna say, we're gonna compare the 42 inch deck um, Hustler to the Cub Cadet. So one, we got a win on the price for the Cub Cadet. Um, they both have 11 gauge. Uh, the win goes over here to the Hustler because it has a welded 11 gauge deck. We have a stamped 11 gauge deck on that Cub Cadet. However, it has a limited lifetime warranty. You know, who knows what that's gonna be like. Similar transmissions, we have the ZT2200 as the EZT2200, both going at seven miles per hour. Um, with the Hustler, we got the Kawasaki. I know you guys are gonna like that. But with that 42 inch deck, we only have the 18 horsepower versus we get a 22 horsepower Kohler on that Cub Cadet. Um, fuel tank size, we get a three gallon on the Hustler versus a 3.5. Maybe that's not a big difference or a big deal for most of you. Here's what is a big deal for me or a lot of other guys. We both have a three year warranty. We're limited to 300 hours on that Hustler. We have unlimited hours on the Cub Cadet. As far as the frame, we're looking at on the Hustler, we have an inch and a half by three inch frame versus a two inch by two inch frame. So, I mean, it's kind of a wash. I mean, you're basically getting the same amount of deck. However, that, that Cub Cadet, it does come with that price. You got dual LED headlights but there are some other features you may like for that Hustler, like the armrest, that floor, floor plate. I do like that um, deck tensioning system. It's very simple. I don't think it's gonna give you any problems. So, I mean, they're, it's kind of a neck and neck decision as far as that Hustler Raptor X versus that Cub Cadet. What would come down to me on that now we do have about a, almost a uh, about a six hundred and fifty dollar difference here. What would matter to me is that dealership experience. Do I like the Hustler dealer? Do I like the Cub Cadet dealer? You know how are they treating me when I'm in there? Um, what's their service department look like? What's the whole overall dealership look like? You know so that would kind of be a deciding factor for me. Plus Hustler has a military discount for you military guys. And before I start comparing the Raptor XD, which has a price of $5,149 or $5, to be exact, um, it's coming in with a ZT2800 transmission and you can get a 21 and a half horsepower Kawasaki with the 50, uh, 42 inch or 48 inch deck or the uh, 23 horsepower Kawasaki with a 54 inch deck or a 24 horsepower Kawasaki with this 60 inch deck. Now I don't have enough, I don't have any um, notes on on these mowers. It's gonna be, the Hustler's gonna be kind of our entry level once, we, once we're gonna start doing some videos here on that $5,000 to $6,000 price range mower. But that's where we're starting out at. We got the, uh, like I said, the 2800 hydro gear transmission, speed of uh, 7.5 miles per, per hour cutting. And on that Raptor, Hustler Raptor, we got the three year, 300 hour warranty. So that's gonna do it for this video. Um, taking a look at the first look at these Hustlers, and this is gonna be the first video going into the 5,000 to $6,000 price range residential uh, zero turn mowers. So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Leave comments down below what you want to see next, if you have any ideas. Um, but I do have some footage uh, for some John Deere, the new John Deere, um, I don't like it. It's got a, it's a, I think a Z500, and they've done away with the manual 
throttle. And it's a three button digital, it's an EFI mower, but it's got a three button digital throttle. So you got low, medium, and high. Just more things to go wrong. Okay, so look for that video coming soon. Again, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.